Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to another edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the companion programs that comes with Photoshop, which is Adobe Bridge. We're going to use it to quickly sort through images from a recent shoot and find some shots that we'd like to use. Now, Bridge is very useful, but what I've found that is a lot of people don't know it exists or for some reason choose not to use it. Let's see how we can quickly use Bridge to sort through a large folder of images and get to just the best images very quickly. You'll see when you launch Bridge that you get a list of all the content. You can have favorites for particular places you like to go to, or a particular folder structure, such as let's look on a drive here and jump right into this particular folder. Now, when you do this, you're presented with thumbnails for the images. And one of the things I like about Bridge is how quickly we could scale images up. Notice we're looking at a very large image here. And these are raw files, so it's really easy to step through. Now, as you scroll through quickly, you do get a low resolution preview, but then it reads the high res image in and it goes clean. So this does work very well. You can quickly skim through the contents of a folder when you're looking for something visually. Let's go to about three across here so we could still easily see the images, but also browse several at one time. Now, one of the things we could do is we can filter these images. So if you look at the column on the left here, there is filter. We could filter based upon a particular day of shooting. For example, only show me images from May 7th. And we see all of these here from the docks in San Francisco, but we're not seeing the portraits that I wanted. So we'll uncheck that and instead filter by all the pictures shot on May 6th. And notice the other pictures are hidden from view. Now, they're still on the hard drive. They're not deleted, they're not erased, nothing has happened to them. You've simply filtered your results so you're not looking at things you're not interested in. This is very useful if you want to refine a large folder of images and find them by a particular date. We can also filter based on other properties. For example, we could say only show me portrait aspect ratio. And now all of the landscape aspect ratio pictures are hidden. Once you've got an image selected, there's several things you could do right from within Bridge. For example here, I might want to check these three photos are all fairly similar, but I want to see some information about them. If we open this panel up here, you'll see that we get information about the camera. So I could check things like the exposure, the bit depth, the different settings, and I get a nice idea of what's happening with the image. I'm gonna go ahead and make this area larger up top here so we get a bigger preview image. And what I wanna do now is check the focus in the areas of the eyes. So if I click right on the person here, you'll see that it loads in a preview, and in a second, it'll go and show me. And I see that this picture is just a little bit soft. Now, it is a low-light photo, and that's okay, but that's not as good. Let's check some of the others. We'll give this a second to load in, and this one's a little bit better. Again, these are all slightly low-light, so they're gonna be a little bit challenged, and that's what happens when you shoot without a tripod in lower light. But let's check our last one here. And this one's actually a bit better. As that loads in, you see that the focus is a little bit clearer on the image itself. And that works pretty good. So we've got those images. We could check these as well, same sort of thing. Simply click on the person and it will load in a nice preview of that area. And it even propagates from one photo to the next. So if the position is similar, you can use it to check your exposure as you move through. So, all in all, very useful, very quick way to navigate your images, and if you want to share these images, say in a contact sheet, it's a piece of cake. Simply select all of the images by pressing Command or Control A, and choose Tools, Photoshop, Contact Sheet. This will go ahead and drop these all onto a single contact sheet so you can give to the client for selection. Specify to use the selected images, and 8x10 is fine. A resolution of 200 will be great for printing on an inkjet printer. I'll go ahead and say do three columns and four rows. Actually, let's do three by three, given the portrait aspect ratio. We'll say use the file name as a caption, and go ahead and go. 
I click OK and it will automatically generate the contact sheet. Now this is super easy. Photoshop is going to take those images that you selected in Bridge and turn them into a contact sheet. Now in this case, there's two sheets worth of information, so you're going to end up with two open Photoshop documents. Don't worry though, this is super easy to combine into a single PDF that we could send to the client. So we have two pages worth of information here, contact sheet one, contact sheet two. We can now choose file, automate, PDF presentation. And I'll simply say, add all the open files. Notice because they're numbered, it's in order. And I'll say, make a multi-page document. I'll click save and it will actually create a new PDF file for me. Album shoot dot PDF. Click the save button and it will generate it. Notice we'll say to use a high quality print and I'll click save PDF. While you're in there, you could do things like add captions, security information, make a multi-page slideshow, lots of things. If you visit the resource blog, rastervector.com, you'll actually find an entire podcast generated to the PDF command there, so you can learn more about creating a PDF slideshow. But for now, it works great to make a single PDF out of these multiple contact sheet documents. It's all done. If we take a jump out to the desktop, we could see that. There's our PDF. I'll go ahead and open that up. There you have it, and there's the second page. So, piece of cake, easy to do. Hopefully you've got some ideas on how to use Adobe Bridge to quickly sift and organize your pictures, and of course, take advantage of some of the wonderful automation tools available in Photoshop that you can access right from within Bridge. Thanks again for joining us. I'm your host, Rich Harrington, and be sure to check out our resource blog at rastervector.com.